We know how to identify functions, but how do we identify something called a one-to-one -one function? A one-to-one -one function means that every single input gets a specific output. There's no repeat of what I put in and what I get out. Everybody just gets paired up one time and that's it. The mathematical way of saying it is, if A and B are not the same, then f of A and f of B are not going to be the same. If I put in different things, I'm gonna get out different answers. Okay, another way of saying this, and we will use this in another unit, is that if my two answers are equal, that means the x's that I put in must have been equal. That's called the one-to-one -one property. All right, so the key here for one-to-one -one is you can't repeat x and you can't repeat y. Now, I wanna take a look at the graph here. So in this case, I have a relation, one, two, and three, two. The x's are not repeated, so it does qualify as a function, but since the y's repeat, it is not a one-to-one -one function. If we were to graph those two points, one, two, and three, two, and connect them, what we would see is a horizontal line. So now we have a graphical test. The vertical line test tells us if we have a function or not. The horizontal line test will tell me if the graph of that function is indeed a one-to-one -one function. All right, so if I'm asked to determine if something's one-to-one -one and I have the graph, it's easy. I just look to see, can I draw a horizontal line and touch it more than once? If so, as in this first case, it's not one-to-one. -one. If in the second case, I see that no, I don't touch it more than once, then we would say yes. Now, some of you may be wondering, hey, wait a minute, it looks kind of flat here. Well, this is where your knowledge of basic functions is gonna come in. I have x to the third, and I know that's that squiggly s. This one's just flattened a little bit because of the, the window that I used. But we could verify algebraically. If I wanna verify algebraically, just to be sure, I would just take my function and I would solve it for x. So if I have y equals x to the third plus one, subtract the one and take the q root. Well, there's only one q root. It's not a plus or minus, right? So when I put in a y value, I will get one specific x for that. On the other hand, with the other function, if we have solved for x, we would get a plus or minus the square root of whatever's inside. So we would get two different possibilities for that one single x. So that tells me that it's not going to be one to one. The reason we care is because only one to one functions are going to have inverses that are also functions. We'll talk about inverses in another video.